What's going on everyone, Donnie here with another video. Everyone loves competitive seasons, and those players who get the rewards are having a great time playing the game this year. I feel as if there's a few things people glance by within competitive seasons, so here's 5 tips that can make your competitive season and hut champions experience a little bit better. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 1, choose the right time to play. This might sound wild to you, but there's absolutely a specific time to play where you'll likely do better off. I've tried many different time slots ranging from 10am in the morning to 3am at night, and I've honestly found that there's a major difference in player skill depending on what time of day it is. Now, the absolute best time to play is midday. Anywhere from like 11am to 3pm Eastern Standard Time should be optimal for you to do better at competitive seasons. Not only will you likely be the most awake, energetic, and in tune at that point in the day, but you'll also probably run into the least talented player group at that point. I ran through 4 opponents in the Global Series comp season and went 4-0 with minimal challenge. You know, I'm an above average player but not a consistent top 10 finisher, and I know many of you who watch my videos are the same way. The worst time to play has gotta be at night, something like 11pm to 4am. This is when you'll find the sweatiest opponents, especially considering you're gonna be playing near the end of most rounds if you do decide to hop in and play every night around midnight. You'll run into players desperate to rank up who will likely do some damage to your rank and leave you in pure rage mode. Tip number 2, don't play another game. If you have to ask, should I play another game? You shouldn't. We've all been in the position where we're like, yeah, I don't know, maybe I should play again, but just don't do it. I find that if I play another game, especially after losing, I lose again, and then instead of being like top 250, I fall all the way out to the top 1000. If you want to play another game, go play a division game. Competitive seasons, especially hut champs, apply here for sure. Hut champs is where you'll find the majority of the good competition, so playing another game really doesn't help when you're likely already tilted as is. Calm down, play a division game, or go on to another game for a bit, and come back when you're a bit more calm, relaxed, and confident with your gameplay. Tip number 3, don't go for objectives. If you need to finish specific objectives, playing competitive seasons is absolutely not the way to go. Play your 3 games in solos or division games, and leave the most competitive gameplay to times where you only have one goal, and that is to win games. Just being realistic, when you go out of your way to attempt to shoot more or hit more, chances are you're going to be out of your element slightly and perform worse. All of us want to get great rewards from comp season games, you should really only play to win and not worry about any other objectives, period, whether it's hits, goals, just try to win the game. If that means you have to play super sweaty and not worry about hitting anybody, so be it, just try to win, don't care about anything else but winning the games. Tip number 4, lineup tips. A few things that I've learned over a few comp seasons within your lineup can help you a ton if you stick with the plan. First things first, don't try out players in competitive seasons games. There's legitimately no reason to change up what's working well in your lineup or with the goaltender if you happen to have a bad game or you just want to try something new. Certain players won't work in just any situation, so figuring out what situation they work in best and who they play well against in a division game will do a lot to help your team's success. Another important thing with your lineup is to manually change your lines. I found that it's super super valuable to be able to change my own lines mid games as I can create matchup problems with my top line against opponents bottom lines. This rings especially true now with the global series comp season with an 80 overall team cap. Nobody wants to use silver and bronze players against 90 plus overall players, so being able to change your own lines will generate a huge lineup boost for you that you didn't think you could even possibly have. Choose the right times to line change like when you have clean possession and you'll see the difference absolutely. Number 5, check usernames and team games before the game. It sucks that this even has to be said, but make sure you go on the NHL hut reddit and twitter and do a quick search of the players gamertag and team name to make sure they're not a booter. As you can see here, it's absolutely ridiculous how many booters there are on NHL 19 so far, with multiple posts and tweets about it every day. As of now, EA can't do anything to ban their IPs, so the best way to avoid booters is searching the NHL Hut Reddit, Twitter, and the NHL Hut Booter List. I'll leave the link in the description for you. Thanks everyone for watching this quick video, I hope this helped out a little bit. If you enjoyed this video or found the information helpful, please subscribe and like this video. I'm making a video every single day of November, so I hope you enjoy this one, and I'll be back again tomorrow with another. This has been Donnie, I'll see you all later.